When we are children, we have so-called milk teeth, which over the years will be replaced by permanent ones that will remain for the rest of life. The complete dentition of an adult consists of 32 teeth, each with a specific function and a precise position along the dental arch. They are divided into four categories, molars, premolars, canines, and incisors. The teeth are composed of a set of solid and soft tissues, more precisely of enamel, dentin, pulp, and cement, and are connected to the bones of the mandible and maxilla. Dental enamel is the outermost part of the tooth and the hardest substance in the entire human body, while the pulp is the innermost part, the heart of the tooth, inside which there are numerous blood vessels and nerve endings. The teeth allow us to chew and chop food into smaller pieces in order to facilitate digestion and absorption of nutrients. Teeth also play an important role in phonetics and language, as well as contributing significantly to our smile and the perception of the physiognomy of our face. The teeth are subject to numerous anomalies and pathologies, more or less serious, often caused by poor oral hygiene. To keep your teeth healthy, you need to take care of them every day, brushing and flossing regularly, and undergo a dental cleaning one or two times a year. But what happens if you stop brushing your teeth? Our mouth is home to more than 300 different species of bacteria, some good, some bad. They feed on the residues of what we eat, and in return perform important functions, such as defending us from external bacteria that can be carriers of diseases. Brushing your teeth keeps this bacterial balance intact. When we eat, the bacteria present in the oral cavity mix with the substances coming from the food and with the saliva, forming what is called dental plague, a thin sticky and opalescent film that is deposited on the surface of the teeth. Already after two to three hours from the meal, if the teeth are not brushed, the dental plaque undergoes a thickening caused by the multiplication of bacteria. After 12 hours, the whole tooth is covered with a bacterial film with 8 to 10 cell layers. After 24 hours, the cell layers become 100. After 48 hours, 300. One of the first consequences is halitosis, a widespread disorder in which bacteria in the oral cavity decompose food residues in the mouth, causing the emanation of a bad smell. When dental plaque is not removed with proper oral hygiene, it undergoes a series of mineralization and calcification processes that will transform it into tartar. In is a yellowish deposit of mineral compounds that forms on the teeth and under the gums. In the meantime, some of these microorganisms release organic acids, which lower the pH of the mouth with a consequent progressive corrosion of the tooth enamel. The acid production of the bacterial plaque present on the dental surfaces causes an initial process of demineralization of the hard tissues of the teeth which leads to the onset of caries, a chronic degenerative infectious disease. If left untreated, the caries goes deep, causing an inflammatory process of the dental pulp known as pulpitis. The main symptom is pain after chewing or when consuming hot, cold and sugary foods or drinks. If the infection is not treated, pulp necrosis occurs, either the loss of vitality of the tooth. Irreversible pulpitis is treated with the devitalization of the tooth, a dental operation that involves the complete removal of the pulp and the subsequent obturation of the pulp canal with special biocompatible materials to prevent any bacterial spread to the surrounding sites. The accumulation of tartar over time due to poor oral hygiene can lead to the onset of gingivitis an inflammatory condition of the gum tissues caused by the accumulation of bacteria in the oral cavity. The gums thus take on a reddish color, begin to swell, and tend to bleed easily. If you continue not to brush your teeth, gingivitis can evolve into periodontitis, a bacterial inflammation of the periodontium, which is the set of tissues that surround and support the teeth on the maxillary and mandibular bones. Deep pockets form in the periodontal tissue where bacteria can settle and draw nourishment from the inflammatory fluids produced by the tissues injured by the disease process. Dental abscesses, collections of pus due to a bacterial infection can then arise. From the periodontal pockets, the bacteria reach the bones, destroying the osteoblasts, the cells specialized in the production of bone tissue. Consequently, there is a bone resorption that causes the mobility of the teeth, that is when they lose their anchorage to the bone and consequently begin to move more than they should. In the later stages, the migration of the teeth can occur, that is when they move from their original location until they fall. 
Oral hygiene, therefore, remains the best medicine to try to prevent the onset of many dental diseases and problems related to the oral cavity. Proper oral hygiene includes brushing your teeth with a toothbrush and toothpaste after each meal, flossing daily, and going to the dentist regularly to undergo routine checkups and dental hygiene, which typically needs to be done every 6-12 months. 